so are you fired up about the acquisition of Matthew Stafford here? Um, I Very know, much. What do you make of that, Ty? Very much. I love that we, I mean, uh, we, we got him a bunch of speed. Um, I'm super curious about Tutu Atwell. I mm. mean, who can't root for a 5'9", 165 guy <laughs> yes. in the NFL? Um, but, yeah, I think Stafford, you know, uh, I I didn't really follow the the Lions, you know, much, but he always seemed like he had crazy arm talent and um, the ability to kind of, you know, do, you know, I think there's, we've got to make sure we're, we're really establishing uh, the run game so he's not running around all the time. Right. Uh, crazy, but, but um, I'm excited about it. So now, how did you first come to love the Rams I mean how far back does your Rams fandom go it goes Tyrell? it goes back to birth um uh, uh I was uh I'm Dan Pastorini's son um <laughs> no um I wow that's can I, can I can I have that as a scoop Ty can I is that a is it <laughs> yeah yeah that's all yours that's all yours run with it um <laughs> No, when I was a kid, we lived in Oregon. My, all my relatives lived in Los Angeles, mm-hmm. and they would send us Rams gear as part of, like, you know, just our way of keeping in touch with each other. So the gear became symbolic to all these family members that I loved and didn't get to see. And so then when they moved to St. Louis, um, it was really no skin off of our back. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Where, whereas a lot of people jumped off the Rams because of feeling betrayed Mm -hmm. in LA um, we were in Oregon and it was like, well, we're still just going to see him, you know, back then like three times a year on television. So, so so we stayed fans. We were really committed St. Louis Rams fans. And, um, and then in this weird, like, uh, you know, almost like an eight year old, like boys daydream, they, they, I was in L.A. shooting Modern Family, and they moved back to Los Angeles while I was there. Right. And if, 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 if you know, if I wasn't already a narcissist, I was, you know, pretty <laughs> sure the world rotated around me when the Rams moved back to the town I was living in. Well, I mean, your co-star uh, also considers the Chiefs revolving around him from Modern Family yeah. as well. So yeah. maybe you caught a little bit but of the Stone Street. they didn't move for him. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's they didn't move for Eric. And well, they moved for me. Eric would have thrown himself on the train tracks before that happened anyway. He would never have allowed that to <laughs> yeah, happen. that's true. <laughs> if that was that's ever true. Really, I mean, you know, that's, so true. that's for sure. So that is, that is great. Have you been to SoFi yet? Have you set foot in that jewel I, off the floor? I have not. I it's have a, not. We're, I'm, I'm commuting from Utah nowadays, of all places. Um, so I'm not in LA a ton at the moment. So are, are you um, giving me, are you are you giving me the scoop that the Rams are moving to Utah now? Is that what you're oh, saying? They're coming here next. <laughs> they're coming here next because that's what they do, right? Uh, wherever I move, <laughs> I'll move to Modesto, and they're coming to Modesto. That's really weird how they do that. But um, look, um, uh, but uh, now that the world is sort of you know uh, the Earth seems to be sort of rotating again, mm-hmm. I'm very excited to get down there and. There's nothing that. like a tie. I'm serious. It's like looking if really? you if you've ever if you've ever looked into uh, virtual reality VR goggles for anything. Yeah, that's what this is. You're, like you're watching a game really? in a VR goggle. It is the sight lines, and no matter where you are, up top, down below, the translucent roof that, by the way, is not attached to the stadium. So I'll give you a heads up that it it does get <laughs> cold in there. Um, I mean, it is, it is, I've never seen anything like it ever. It's unreal. It's that, it's that, it is that worldly, huh? Well, I mean, also compared to no offense, you know, where they've been playing the last couple of years too, you know, like to go from, right. you know, where, where, you know, Calvin Coolidge probably once brought in the Olympic torch, <laughs> you know, to, to this, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's unreal. It's truly unbelievable. Uh, really I'm so excited. You should be I'm so excited. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.